Yes. Welcome to the next topic we have electric motor. What is electric motor generally? Yes. It converts the electrical energy into mechanical energy. So electrical energy means we are providing current. Due to that current it gives mechanical energy. It's rotating, right? That rotating is given as mechanical energy. Right? So generally where you can see the this type of electric motor, yes, of course, you can see in the fan. We have in that fan we will have electric motor we will have in that electric motor it rotates in single way, single directions, not in two directions, single direction it will rotate. Right? Now we move on to our topic electric motor. What are the set setups we have? So in that setups, in the construction we have two poles. One is north pole and another one is south pole. So magnets we have. Either we can say that magnet or we can say that this is north pole and this one is south pole. Right? And we have one axle. This is called axle. Right? This is called axle. And in that axle we have brushes. Right? This brushes is stationary. Okay? This brushes is stationary and which clamp this split ring okay this brushes clamp this split ring as loosely not tightly okay and we have one circuit we have a battery from that battery a wire is connected copper wire is connected it passes through the brush x and then it passes through this rectangular copper coil okay and then it come back to the brushes Y and then reaches the negative terminal of the battery. Right? So we have poles, magnet we will have and we have the axle, axle and we have the split ring or we can say that commutator. Later I will tell you what is the role of that split ring terminal. Okay. And here we have battery and we have key. Right? And imagine this uh, rectangular coil is just horizontal to this uh, or perpendicular to this uh, magnets. Okay. The current and the magnetic field are in perpendicular directions. Right. So if it is moving on perpendicular direction, okay, if it is moving on perpendicular direction, then we can able to find out the force by using Fleming's left hand rule. Right. So what is the Fleming's left hand rule? So this one is four finger and this one is middle finger thumb indicating yes we have so thumb indicating the force of motion right force of motion thumb indicating and this one indicating magnetic field and this one will giving about current and moving on to here so here I have noted x y is our brushes x y our brushes that is stationary and p q r split ring that we can say that combinator a, B, C, D is an insulated copper wire. A, B, C, D is an insulated copper wire. And this one is axle. Okay. How it is working? So let's go with a small demo. So this is the axle we have. So this axle, right? So in that axle, this forward is acting as axle now. And this one will be act as split ring. So this one, right? So this is the split ring, right? So this split ring will be hold like that. And similarly, I have one more split ring. These two split rings will never touch with each other. Remember that these two split rings will never touch with that. That rose colored carbo disc is axle and these two carbo sheets, brown color carbo sheets are split ring. Okay. Initially, what will happen? If you are close the key and the battery is on, current will flow from Brushes X and it passes through A, B, C, D and then it reaches Y and then reaches the negative term. While passing the current, what will happen? Magnetic field also we have, right? The force will be developed due to Fleming's left hand rule. We can identify, sorry, according to Fleming's right hand rule, we can identify the force of direction, right? So that force is pulling downwards and in that arm series is pulling upwards, right? So it looks like it rotating in anti clockwise direction. As in here, so we have two rings as like that I have. Okay. 
for you for a better understanding i'm holding holding like that so if it is anti clockwise means the split ring will also move along with the axis yes what happened now these two split rings are change their position right so this split ring will go to that side and this split ring will go to that side so these two split rings are change their position due to the change in position what will happen in the sense the current will get reverse in the directions so the current will get reverse in the direction so this term this will be becomes positive and this will be negative right when after half rotation this brush will go this brush will go this side and this brush will go come this side okay that time what will happen the polarity of the battery will change right so if it is change the sense what will happen this force will be initially half of the rotation the force is downwards and after the half of the rotation the force will be goes up for the second half this is second half this is first half rotation and similarly in second half it will go down in the second part second half rotation right so when if we interchange the split rings so what is the role of split ring resistance it get reverse the direction of current that's why we are saying that commutator that commutator the split ring act as a commutator the commutator role is to change the direction of current that's why we are saying that commutator and here the, the split ring will be act this commutator that change the direction of current so in the direction of current change obviously the force will also change so what will happen continuously these brushes sorry this split ring so it look, look like here right again half rotation what will happen i cannot turn my full hand so so it will go like that right so it will both axle and this split ring are continuously moving in single direction single direction not not like that it will goes like single direction that's why the motors are giving in the rotation complete rotation of this process right so i hope you understand well and here i am going to explain here so the inner half of insulator split ring we have right this is a split ring the inner half are insulated and attached to an axle so the inner part is attached to the axle and the external conducting edges of p and q touch to conducting the stationary brushes x and y the external right the external of split ring is connected with the brushes x and y the brushes is tightly hold but this split ring is connected with this brushes as loosely it, it should rotate right or that it touch it making a touch with that split ring the brushes are slightly touch with this split ring. and if you are close if you close the key and the current is passing that time what will happen the arms ab this is arms ab the current will flow in that direction right so the current will go initially in that direction and in that cd it will go down and both are in opposite direction right and use fleming's left hand rule to identify the direction of force what will happen in the arms the force will be getting downwards because current will go up like that yes and this magnetic field is initially is horizontal with that magnetic field so the magnetic field you apply the fleming's left hand rule the force will be getting down in the first half rotation and similarly the arm cd the force will go up using fleming's left hand rule and okay this is for first half rotation so it rotate in anti clockwise direction once it reaches this side this split ring will go to touch this brushes y and this split ring will come to this side and touches x that time the current get reverse and this split ring will be acted as commutator right that change in direction of current that time what will happen the second part will be started in the second second uh, half rotation the current will goes from started from here from y again which is coming down here that time the force will be change in the upward direction so now here it will be go down in the downward direction and obviously it rotate in a single direction right i hope you understand well thank you see you in the next video and here these are all the some uses of commercial motors the first point an electromagnet in place of permanent magnet so instead of permanent magnet you can use electromagnet 
The second point, the large number of turns of the conducting wire in the current carrying coils. That time we are using motor. And the third point, a soft iron core on which the coil is wound. So the, that is also gives the motor, right? And what is armature? This is important. They may ask in two more questions or a subdivision question even for five marks. An armature is a soft iron core is wounded with coil along plus some coils we have. That is called we are saying that armature. So what is the use of this armature means? It enhances the power of motor. Right? Thank you.